Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. Rabbit, rabbit. <clears throat> for us, it's the beginning of the month, and you know you're supposed to say that for good luck. I'm Michael Mandel. This and is Double Talk right here on the Las Cruces Channel, and uh, my voice is a little raspy. It's a love of art month. I'm dealing with a little something in my throat. Yes. Yeah, so well, I had that ten days ago, and now you both have it. You well, and the producer both have maybe it. Maybe what we have in front of us could help. Uh, you know, it's uh, been proven in individual cases that scotch can help. When we were in Scotland, Tom Levy was given a dosage of scotch with some kind of ginger and lemon. No honey? Uh, maybe it had honey. And it fixed him, right? Uh, he felt better. And my wife was getting sick about a couple of weeks ago. I gave her some scotch with Canton ginger liqueur, which is really good, uh -huh. and fresh squeezed lemon. She felt great. Temporarily. Uh, no, no, and then she got better, totally. Oh. And in fact, uh, she just ran, uh, you know, a 24-mile uh, marathon right after. Backwards. Frontwards and backwards. While drinking the scotch. So, yes. Uh, our producer is in the midst of it, and he's getting better. Um, <laughs> scotch is good because it knocks your body off kilter. But as you were saying, it's not necessarily good for a cold. Well, any alcoholic beverage actually does impede the uh, immune system somewhat. Yeah, but the flavor of scotch, can, the, the flavor of scotch, no, that's probably truth. Uh, scotch, the flavor of it just knocks you out and you feel like uh, you're, you're great. Anyhow, we're going to do a uh, yeah, special three. barrel, you know, scotch is usually just stored in barrels. It has to be stored at least three years in an oak barrel to be scotch in the first place, and it can only be made in Scotland. Right. Uh, most uh, scotches that you see are um, eight years old. The good ones are eight to 10 to 12, 10 to 12. and then all the way up. Um, this one is a uh, port cask finish. So the barrel or cask it was uh, last in had uh, port wine, which is Previously. from Portugal. Yes. So the most is infused do. with that. Yes, yeah, so it's full of extra so flavor. It imbues a bit of essence. Yes, and uh, that's one of the interesting things. The grain stone wheat will do second. This had uh, two casks. Um, one was regular white oak, and the second was bourbon. A lot of them are just standard going into bourbon mm -hmm. a lot. But uh, Scotland uh, buys casks uh, all the time from, from Spain, or anywhere, Spain and Portugal. Portugal, and it really makes it good. But uh, well, usually they get them made. Scotland's got it down to a science. They've been doing it for hundreds, yeah, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. And, and this <laughs> is one of my favorites, the Balveni, uh, double wood. And uh, it's finished in, I think, a sherry cask. You wonder how, how, how they invented this in the first place. You know, you know what? Trial and error. Wheat went bad. Great oat went, oats, uh, uh, all that stuff, barley, malt, it all went bad and soured. And they said, uh, let's throw this in the pond. And then they realized that. Wait, the, wait a minute, we're Scottish, we don't waste anything. That's right. And they noticed maybe their sheep were drinking it and looking happy. <laughs> that's how they discovered uh, uh, coffee in Ethiopia. Their goats were eating it and going crazy. Yeah. Then they said, well, <clears> that <throat> looks good, so we'll try it. So happens. we'll try this. We're trying the Glen Moray. Which is this one. Uh, and it's a Speyside Scotch, which is the uh, river that goes uh, through most of Scotland. Scot Scotland. And uh, it's from Elgin, which is right in the middle of Scotch country. Well, there we go. That's very sippable. It's smooth and flavorful. No, I'm sipping mine on the rocks. I have one rock in there, Michael. Really? What you You're going with? straight, neat up. Straight. All my <laughs> life we have... My wife and I have drunk scotch straight. Well, I'm trying because, it with, with But ice. it does help sometimes <coughs> to open up the flavor when you use uh, ice. I like it with the ice very much. And it depends. You know, most, one of the good reasons I'm doing it now is because the winter is a good time to do a nice, it's got such a warming, loving feeling to the flavor. It just goes it's, down. It just gives you a nice warming. Your trachea and, uh, or wherever you keep it. And it yes. just feels great. Yep. <clears throat> so that's a very good one. Where did you get this one? No, it just I mean, looks like it just it's off. Fix it. Does it just look like it's off? It just looks like it's off. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure, but we both had this one before. It could be from uh, Trader Joe's. Or I might have seen it in specs and said, I've never had that one. So that's pretty good. Okay. Are we going to go, are we going to just barrel them down here? 
Let's try another one right now and then get the other one <clears throat> after our break. Okay. Break. You know, the way we started uh, tasting uh, whiskeys and scotches and alcohol and everything. As we do on the show place, on a weekly basis. Yes, or, or even more than weekly. And uh, we started with Irish whiskey. We did. About four years ago. <clears throat> which we will be doing next month for St. Patty's Day. And we thought St. Patty's Day we should do Irish whiskey. And after we did Irish whiskey, which we were very pleased with, we thought, this is really good. Why don't we drink something that we really drink all the time? And at that time, it was scotch and vodka. Scotch and, and then, vodka would be, and then would be we, much more than Irish whiskey. And then we eased into gin, because now I love gin. I just and think gin if you watch this show, food and you drink can, is our favorite topic. You can and we it. always taste something. Even though it's uh, this whole show is about local cultural things. The booze is what counts. But we broaden our as aspect here. And speaking of food, <clears throat> you know there's going to be a new Burger Time restaurant opening. This weekend. R really? And up on Sonoma Ridge really? near Highway 70. W why? Why not? <laughs> How many times do you go to Burger Time? Very rarely. I'm very very not... rarely. What are we on? Oh, okay. We're, We're on uh, Grainstone. Yes. Grainstone might be... I don't know where mm. that's from. This could also be from uh, Trader Joe's. Call in and let us know. This is not the kind of see thing you see in Walgreens or Walmart. No, or... these are... Most you see, the, the single malt scotches you usually see, which are very good, are Glen Fittick and Glen Livet. Glen Livet. And they're both, they're both really good. But, you know, cheers. Cheers to you. But you want to keep trying things. Most of the scotches you all grew up with, which are blended scotches, like Dewar's and J&B, and I had Cuddy Sark at the, uh, at the San Antonio Cocktail Conference uh, because it's the first time I've seen it in maybe 40 years. <laughs> and it was good. It was light. But this has a much more wild aspect to it than that does. Wild? Grassy. Really? Anyway, the, the thing about blended scotches uh, and also uh, Johnny Walker, all of them. Red, black, and blue? Yeah, and green. Um, are made of these, and these are all single malts. So it's like if you were mixing stuff, like I mix coffee now, I mix coffee beans. Yeah, why not? Because that's how they do to get the right flavor. And yeah, you it's have a your blend. Own. Yeah. <clears throat> like all American whiskey, and there are blends. That's why they're not called single malts. These are not blends. And the reason they're blends is because they want to retain a consistency for their consumers. So somebody has incredible <clears throat> taste buds and knows just how to kick out Johnny Walker Red every day of the week. Or Black Velvet. Or b Black Velvet, <laughs> probably. Or, uh, or Seagram Jim, 7. Jim Beam. <clears throat> Jim Beam and uh, the famous... Uh, or... Um, what else is great there? <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Oh, everybody drinks Crown Royal. Crown Royal yeah, is just Crown. a mix of varieties and... Scotches and there's all yes. these things. Now this is Jack being, Daniels. This being February, you know, <clears throat> this here here in Las Cruces, it is known as for the love of Art Month. Now I would much prefer it being for the oh, for the love. for the art of love instead of it love is, of it art. It is February. February is the art of love because uh, Valentine's Day is the 14th. Wow, right. Dead center. I mean, what other what other month has 28 days? Well, they all do. But uh, February yeah, only only has 28 days. Only 28 yes. days. <clears throat> so the, uh, except for exceptional years. So the uh, art of love comes mid-month, but for the love of art is all month. I remember when they first started this uh, over 20 years ago, and, and I was working with the uh, uh, community theater, and uh, we've been doing art and stuff all year long, and my poetry group, we, we do art, we do readings all year, all year long, long. Yeah. and they say, you want to do something for uh, February? And our response was, well, well yeah, yeah, we already do. Uh, so I think what we did was hung pictures from artists in, in the Right, uh, in which they have now at the community theater, in yeah. the lobby. Yeah. <clears throat> so all this is good. I like this. Like yeah, I said. This lighter. This had a bit more of a direct flavor. Yes, no. So <clears throat> there are art events all month long, all over town, primarily at art galleries. Yes. On Main Street, Picacho, Mesquite. Those, there's a couple art galleries up there on Mesquite. Well, all the art galleries are doing something special. Yes, they are. We're <clears throat> doing a special poetry reading, uh, I think, the last weekend of the month and uh, at the Brannigan. Uh, yes. We'll let you know about it as it's coming up. 
as they tell me when I have to be there? There will be, um, there's uh, movies at the Rio Grande Theater in conjunction with our Love of Art Month. What movies would they switch because <laughs> uh, art, would they do Van Gogh movies or Van Gogh movies or The Life of Renoir <laughs> well, or I, Monet in a Minute? I, I, I hope to actually curate a series of art-based feature films. Um, at what point? For, this is in, in like last year, but... You, you <clears> planning on doing it last with, year? Through art forms, <clears throat> but it turned out the movies I wanted were too expensive to access because they're rare. Oh, oh. So, but I'm working on it. Maybe Good. Next, maybe next year Good. the city will cough up. Maybe it. next year they'll so be well done because they were rare. If they were rare last yes. year, maybe now they'll be well done and nobody cares. Well, now that the city runs the Rio Grande Theater, maybe they can help me out with that. Sure. <clears throat> sure now, you know what? In, 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 uh, in addition to the Love of Art Month going on right now in Las Cruces, I just read in the paper that the Libertarian Party. So the Love of Libertarian ends. Has or just received Liberty major lovers. party status. Um, what does that mean? It means we're a three-party state now. That means they've qualified now uh, to be a three-party, to be so, a so, major party in the state. So they're capable of getting uh, the ballot. anywhere 3 to 30 percent of the vote. If the uh, candidates get enough of the ballots, uh -huh. enough uh -huh. signatures on the ballots, and they need, oh, they need he's 230 the rules. petition ballot signatures. 230 petition signatures on their ballots, and they qualify to run as a libertarian. So if you have 230 friends or neighbors... Uh, who don't slam the door in your face. But they have to be libertarians. Oh, my God. Oh, that's going to be tough, because then you have to you have to sign up. Are you, you're not signed up as a libertarian. No. Are you going to do that? Are you gonna, you're going to stay independent, aren't you? Many of my Democratic friends have asked me if I would sign their petition. I said, I can't, because I'm not a Democrat. Well, you could, and then they just knock you out. It's not worth, because you know, it gets eliminated. So, that's why I'm a Democrat, so I can elect Democrats, which are, you know, not that anybody didn't know that. <laughs> Yes. Come, come shoot me. I, don't I, I, on the other hand, am, am an independent, and I'm waiting for the day when independents will be allowed to vote in the primaries. Why? Independents, how do, what are they judged by? What are their rules of judgment? I mean, what, what criteria? Our personal rules. Is uh, somebody you like? And somebody you like? Well, somebody. everybody's trying to be moral. So the conservatives are, you know, usually <clears throat> Republicans. They cl claim the people who are liberal are <clears throat> Democrats. <clears throat> liberal means helping other people. Uh, conservative means yeah. helping yourself. Helping yourself. <clears throat> and claiming to be moral unless it's uh, inconvenient. Moral if the Bible says so and you overlook uh, certain people's habits right. who are in power. <clears throat> so, oh, what's next? Are, are we moving along? We, he, yes. He's pushing us away from this topic. I can see that. <coughs> well, we're, we're kind that's of in a great politics seal. Right now. The New Mexico, that's a great seal. That's not a seal, that's an eagle. Yes. And uh, what's that brown lump? Some Mexican, some. Uh, that's the, that's uh, the, uh, that's the bird partridge. Sitting down. A partridge looking at some food. And, what are you doing uh, there? I don't know what 13 means. Ends of show. End of show? Ends of show. Oh, okay. Uh, so the, the New Mexico legislature is now in full swing, and they've come up with several bills that they're proposing. Just like the big band. <clears throat> First off, they, they want to give ten million dollars to the Spaceport America. Located That's not the, much, you know. Ten in the, million? In the, no. Yeah, I mean they should give that to the uh, school system, but we say, you know, it's going to cost more than that. Kids. It'll cost more than that to yeah. pave the road from Hatch to <laughs> the Spaceport. They also want to exempt the Spaceport from the open open records law. So that we don't know what the hell they're doing. Right. We don't know what companies are and corporations are, are being involved with the Space Board and what projects they're undertaking. But it's a publicly owned facility. Why can't we know? It's owned by the public, but so is many things that so you don't know. So it's why it's missile range. We don't know a darn thing. We don't know thing. what's going on. Right. We own the government, yet uh, they're holding things back from the, F, you know, the FBI, things. which they're probably right. <clears throat> now, the legislature also wants to boost funding for domestic violence services. Now, you know, New That's Mexico... Good. New Mexico, they claim that uh, New Mexico, one in four females in New Mexico is a victim of domestic violence. So you just and, hang out with three women and you're safe. <laughs> I guess so. And, you know, yeah. and uh, Joanne Ferrari is behind this bill. As well she should be. And so they're going to be boost the funding for, for the victims of domestic violence. M most domestic violence comes from people drinking too much scotch. Yes. I would think. And not or something. Not smoking pot. Or cocaine or now, another bill they've got is, which is crazy, uh, a new high school graduation requirement. Where yes. well, this high, is a couple all, of weeks ago. They to graduate from high school, it. high school graduates were going to have to apply to at least one college or, or university. Or 
an extended program, trade, trade, school. trade school, and and that could be a beauty uh, center. What if somebody wants to join the military and start a military career? Well, then right you, if you've applied to the military, that proves <clears throat> that you've you've tried that. Or you can go to Donan, or you can take a, a, a course to be a craftsman. Or what if you grew up on a farm and you intend to be a farmer as soon as you graduate in high school? and go into farming for the rest of your life. So in a way, you don't need your graduate degree, but well, you do these days because- You should uh, go to college to learn about farming and agriculture and right. ranching and animal husbandry. So what's, what happens if you say you're going to take a course, let's say at the you have to at prove it. I think you have to show your application. Or show you're going to do it, and then you say, eh, like most kids, they go, eh. Well, you can apply, that I don't think you're forced to attend. Doesn't McDonald's have a university? McDonald's? You know, I went to um, Dillard. Hamburger, Hamburger University. I went to Dillard's. I went to Shoe University. Shoe U. Yeah, Shoe U. I loved it. Uh, it. It's great. I learned about shoes. And so so that's going on. So that's why I got uh, my GED. So listen, listen. Let's take a break right now. We're going to take a quick look at the club store. they got a lot of things going on over there. Uh, I'm told all, all the, they've, all, they've always got all kinds of new things going on there. I think you can buy a degree. Ooh. Ooh, that would be good. Hi, everybody. We're here at the famous club store. Wow, you're sure to find something tasty here for your Valentine. Him or hers, which I, I know they will enjoy. These are some great looking candies here. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, we have a giant Lindor truffle. It's not, the, the entire thing is not chocolate, but it has a bunch of chocolates inside in a, a plastic round container. But um, and then How cute the, is that? <laughs> the regular bags of truffles here. Look at those, nice. You could tie a, a little teddy bear onto that candy right there and you've got a great gift. And did you see these candy? Oh, wow. Well, who doesn't like these? Oh, my goodness. Ferrer Rocher. Yeah, those are amazing. And the discount here in the store on top of that, everybody. Yeah, that is a great price. The, I mean, they're not cheap elsewhere, but, you know, here they're very reasonable. Leaves you money to buy something else. If There's your classy chocolates right there. <laughs> and uh, I just want to stressed on that these are really high quality chocolate a lot of this is imported stuff mm -hmm. um, a lot of it from Belgium and then um, something else that we have here that I know a while ago the only place you could get these were in Hawaii yeah I remember that too because yeah. the macadamia nuts right right mm -hmm. um, they're a very mm. popular uh, brand Hawaiian host yeah Right, we have them at a great price. We have different ones. We have just the chocolate with nuts. We have some with caramel. Um, they're a great price, um, and our smaller ones are, you won't believe, but they're $2.50 wow. for the smaller ones. Look at those from Maui. Look at these right up here. Nice. So you've got chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Oh, that's delicious. Caramel. Yep. Two then, oh, my goodness. And then here's the. the just the chocolate nuts, mm. two fifty. Where can you buy this quality wow. of a chocolate? They're not going to last. I know that. You got to come in and get your valentines now. <laughs> if you have someone who maybe is trying to be a little more health conscious, we have things like these uh, dark chocolate dipped pretzels. So those are really a sweet and savory treat. You know, those are of, wonderful. Yeah, a lot of people like the sweet and salty together. Yes. Those are a great combination. You know, and uh, with Super Bowl coming around the corner, right? Those are nice treats. Those are great treats, yeah. Um, we also have some popcorn from Popcornopolis. I saw that. So, Look at that. Kettle corn. Yeah, different varieties. They're, um, they're amazing. Anybody who likes popcorn will know this brand. And Those are... And these two, these are great too. So yeah, and um, speaking of you know Super Bowl and that and health, yeah, we also have a Snacks. large selection of healthy products. We have protein shakes, we have protein bars. So those can also make a great gift too. But they're also good just for everyday use. But our prices are really competitive. I know. Um, Sometimes it seems like our prices might be a little bit higher, but this, for example, if you were to buy it at one of the other big box stores, um, it would be cheaper. But there's a catch to that because their packages only sell 12. Ours are 18. Oh, right. So ours are very competitive. Oh, wow. Yeah, those are good. Very healthy. Protein is the way to go. 
Okay, and as a final note, we're going to talk about these um, the drinks and staying hydrated for the big game this weekend. And uh, you've got some great deals on the mineral water, the Pellegrinos. Right, all these are imported waters, um, either from Italy or France or um, Mexico. We've got the Topo Chico, which is a hard brand to find. I know. Um, they don't sell it everywhere, so we have quite a selection. And it's really a good price. It's just a little over $15, but you won't pay that because we always have some kind of a sale going on. The San Pellegrino in the plastic bottles. You know, before you go to any of the big stores, before the game, just stop here at the club store here on Telshore. You know, just come and check it out because you might find your one-stop shopping here. These Perrier's with the lime in the cans, those are great. Quick little easy ones. Yeah, they're, they're really a high quality beverage um, and they're not really very cheap anywhere, so, but they are here. So. And you got your Arizona green teas, who doesn't love those? Yeah, and we do have some uh, Gatorades and things like that, so, um, and just some flavored waters too. Yeah, some of the brands that, like you said, you can't find anywhere, so that's pretty neat. You know, you got, you got a nice little variety here. So, yep, and then uh, some oh. more gift Yeah. They're already wrapped and ready to go. How pretty is that? Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we have a variety, like I said, of, of ready-to-go gifts for any occasion, but I mean, these ones are especially ready for Valentine's with the red, and, and here you have another nice oh. um, gift basket with a nice little tin and an assortment of, of small little chocolates and, and different treats. And it's from wine country. Just add a little bottle of wine there and you've got a whole package. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. And then we'll, we have our um, Keurig style coffees, the pods. So those, these ones are actually a unique um, brand. They have an eco-friendly pod because, you know... The I pods, noticed that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the pods are plastic and they're not, um, they're not real easy to dispose of. Um, these ones are great and they're really a great price. You get a hundred of them here for $27.99, but wow. it's never really what the price says wow. because we always have some kind of a sale going on. Yeah, and that's a great brand, San Francisco Bay. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a hundred cups. Man, that brand in particular, um, you can make a large cup of coffee with it because it's it's pretty strong. But if you like it really strong, you can have a smaller cup and and get the same kick. So awesome, coffee and sweets, you got it all. <laughs> well, we're located at 910 North Telshore. We're near Outback, um, so come and see us. We're here seven days a week. Uh, we're open. Uh, Monday through Friday, or actually Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and on Sundays we're open from 11 to 5. Wow, thank you, and uh, look for more specials, and don't forget to go to the Club Store Facebook page, always something happening there. Save more, buy more at the Club Store Outlet at 910 North Telshore in Las Cruces. Yes, well, that's the Club Store. And, uh, yeah, they've got a great Valentine's Day special going on starting next week. I love lint chocolates. They have a lot of lint chocolates. All those chocolates look great. Toblerone, uh, classic for Valentine's Day. It's a Valentine's Day candy <laughs> and snacks. And great Super Bowl uh, drinks, items, snacks. It's all there. The you know, store. Topo Chica, we did a Topo Chica show a couple of weeks ago yeah, we using did. that as a mixer. Apparently, it is the hip kids go-to mixer so they have topo chica go by a your case. daughter was here for that show right was. no there was a show after she was here and then she told me about it she ah. said oh zach or somebody always uses uh, topo chico and she brought me a bottle and we used it on the show <laughs> it's good it has a lot of right. that's so. it we're almost done with our show we better run on so hey you know the, uh this week it's a school board election coming up on tuesday it's uh, too late to vote early <laughs> well <laughs> now but you could uh, vote, tuesday. vote tuesday school board election we hear double talk Last recommend is high. to vote yes yes we're gonna quickly do uh balvenny double we wood are. which is one of my favorite yep uh, now this food truck fiesta is coming up on uh monday i'm sorry food truck fiesta wouldn't come up on monday coming up on telshore yeah wednesday 
coming up Wednesday at the Tell Shore 12 Movie Theater from from five to eight. And uh, buy one get one free. And you can take your food into the movie theater. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Celebrity waiters, uh, team. Zane. That's March 10th. Zane, what is we'll that? We'll talk more about that later. Oh, okay. Uh, Gala 10th. of the Royal Horses is Saturday and Sunday this week out at the fairgrounds at three o'clock. And they will the show afternoon. all the gay horses. Is that what a gay is? I don't know. Oh. And then uh, this weekend we got two plays running still. Lend me a tenor. Lend me a tenor. Final Which weekend. I saw last week and it was great. And Photograph so 51 it. at the Black Box Theater. Which I've heard is great. Cheryl Thornburg wrote a review, and Cheryl Thornburg was the uh, theater critic 25 years ago here. For both And she papers. had a great reputation. Yep. And, and she's good. And, uh, and uh, oh, no. Super Bowl Sunday food options. We, we have to do this tasting, man. Well, What's the it. Super Bowl Sunday food options? Go to uh, the club store and get your food options. That's one thing you can do. But what are you going to do for the Super Bowl, Michael? Avoid it. I'm going to go see Lend Me a Tenor. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. From 2 o'clock until about 4. And then I'm, I'll go sure, home I'm sure you'll be the... And watch the Super Bowl. Oh, really? And have my food options that I'm... Well, ready. you just tasted the Balveni. I mean, we I like, like both Balveni. of these. We like this. This one, uh, as you keep drinking it, the uh, uh, gr Grainstone, which I'm thinking might be uh, Trader this one Joe's. might be the most aggressive. Well, Balveni the is an old favorite of mine. <clears throat> so, you know, if you want to get your wings or your pizza... You better order early because you know how Super Bowl Sunday is. I tend to make my own <clears throat> wings Super Bowls, or wings or pizza or hamburgers or whatever. But uh, uh, <coughs> is that this me. weekend? Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. That's right. Great. We'll be away. We'll be oh, no, no. We'll be here. <laughs> this is Super Bowl all over the country, Michael. No, well, yeah, we're going to go to Tier C. Tier C is in the 1950s. They don't get TV. I bet they have it there. You think? I bet they. You can sit in a you can sit in a hot tub spa up there. In the and, and, and listen, and and listen to. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I, I watch different balls in the hot tub. Mm. Oh, now, careful super cause, careful because somebody passed out in the hot tub up there last week. You heard about that? Did they? Yes. Well, that heart attack died. Li liable to happen. They died. So, so listen. Wait, talk about this. This is good. I like this. This is uh, more flavor than both. It is more certain. And uh, you can't avoid the flavor. Th these are very smooth. This is good flavor. I like it. I don't know which it's one got, I like. It's finished. They're both. They're all good. So, so you know. We're out of time right here on Double Talk. See you next week we'll you with next week. Uh, some other booze. Right here on the Las Cruces channel. Don't you boo us. But <laughs> we'll have other And booze. on Facebook and on YouTube uh, worldwide. YouTube. Double Talk. Slash Mark. Don't slash me. Slash Mark and just colon me. Leave your colon out of it. Yes. Send me.